Bam. Here we are. We're back here in the RV. Got some more contact paper. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's enough because we bought them out. These are the last two rolls. Um, I'm sure I can find more online if we have to, but hopefully we can make it work. So we're going to get to it because we didn't get very far the other day. Actually finished only one, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe one and a half. Yeah. So hopefully we can make a little bit more progress. So keep on watching. You went to the gym yesterday. I can see already the results. <laughs> Instant. Yes, you gotta make sure you're doing your texting in between sets because that's what makes you bigger. Yes. No shave Thursday. I just made that up. <laughs> so we got some really <clears throat> coarse sandpaper because I really need to get rid of this glittery stuff um, and it's so difficult. This stuff is like hardcore chunky glitter and we need to remove it. Oh, nothing is coming off. It looks like it is like a rubber. This, I believe this is nail polish. All the way down, all the way around the entire RV. Nail polish. I'm not surprised. I mean, and then, it, does that mean this is nail polish too? Look at all this stuff. Oh no. Yeah, it like it. You guys, it didn't even do anything. It's got to be, look at how it's smeared up here. That's nail polish. Oh boy, we got some work. So, I'm sure you're wondering why this isn't like taped off and stuff. It's because I'm just trying to paint over the little plastic trim here. Um, it's the same trim that was painted glitter in the rest of the RV. But this is just normal, so we're painting over it. And then over this is where we'll put the, um, the wallpaper. But... Yeah, I just wanted to sh let you know that's why. 
it looks all splotchy like this is because this this wood paneling is getting covered um, with a really thick wallpaper so we can get rid of some of the 70s here Definitely helps break it down. The lighting sucks. Yeah. Doesn't work. Nice. Oh yeah, it's working much better. to painting this one totally black. <laughs> yeah. This this little trim that she painted with the the nail polish, I realized that it's plastic. And I cut off the edge there. We can cover that up with wallpaper. Let me take a look here. Action. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
cool. We can cover the rest of that up with some wallpaper. It does stick in there, like it has a profile here actually. So if we just cut it and leave the little bit that's in there maybe. I thought it would be. I didn't know we could get those off. At least now it'll be flush. See, there's still a piece in here, but it really it doesn't affect us since we glue. Now, yeah. this is what I was afraid of a little bit. Yeah, I could probably put a little glue in there, some caulking. Oh, they stapled this in. And then they put um, this other poured on top of it. Mm-hmm. 1978. Wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't painted glitter nail polish. One cabinet and yes the contact paper isn't the best but it's good enough it's gonna be covered up anyway there's a little carpet we put in the bottom and they've got rid of the pink off the sides here this is gonna all be covered so I think I might paint the bottom of this black too just to cover it all up but it looks good. It's gonna be so different when it's done. Well, we found out the corner. I don't have a piece here. Uh, which we try to we try to sand, getting the glitter out. Actually, uh, I can cut. Now the blade broke, but I just take the little box cutter here, go behind, cut it off, peel it off, and that makes for a smooth corner, so we don't have any bumps in there when we put uh, the wallpaper, sticky wallpaper up. So that's a, that's a huge uh, improvement. Yeah, yeah. time saver also. Makes it much nicer. And then we got done some more contact paper. So these two are done. Uh, just can't get them in there really good. Would like to do it a little more uh, precise, but that's not uh, Oh, we perfect. still gotta do that one. Huh? Like the other one on this side. Mm -hmm. You know, this side here. I actually started to cut them overlap them and you can't really see it. So it looks like one piece now. Yeah. See here, this is this is like two pieces and you can't see it. I did the same here because there's little uh there's little junction boxes in there. J boxes. Yeah, I covered those little boxes up. And uh yeah, see I, you can see I cut it a little bit. It's fine. Absolutely. And this is the first one complete. The little carpet in there for maybe the coffee mug or something. Yeah. There's a chicken goose the next day. Top of the day. Now what else did we do? The bathroom. Yep, I got a little painting done in here. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I see some spots I missed. Yeah. That's okay. We need to get more spray paint anyway, but this corner you did. Um, yep, I did the edge there of the counter. It's just a, a matte black. And we are going to epoxy this counter just like the other ones. But we're going to build up a little corner here so that we can put it thick enough. And put some masking tape on there, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, huh? Well, Take care of. Oh yeah, I spray paint spray spray painted some of those. Now that we know we can take this little trim stuff off, it'll probably come off. But yeah. 
Yuppers, we made some progress today. Yeah, and learned a couple of things about this RV, uh, the way it's been constructed, and the way we can modify it much easier, so make it more livable for us. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right. Okay. Well, we will see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay. Hit that bell so you can see our next video. Follow along our journey. Thanks, guys. Bye.